शुरू हुए गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल ड्राइव रिलेशन फॉर बाउंड्री कंडीशन ऑन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दैट इज बी एंड एच वेक्टर राइट तो लेट इज स्टार्ट द टॉपिक फॉर सिंगल मीडियम द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एंड बी बोथ आर कंटिन्यूस बट इफ वी टेक टू मीडिया एंड देर इज एन इंटरफेस देन वी हैव टू अप्लाई द बाउंड्री कंडीशन फॉर बोथ बी एंड एच तो लेट इज कंसिडर टू डिफरेंट मीडिया फॉर विथ प्रोबेबिलिटीज न्यू वन एंड न्यू टू Both media are linear, isotropic, homogeneous. So these are two media, one and two, with probabilities mu one and mu two, right? Let us consider one Gaussian cylindrical surface with delta s as the area for the upper surface, delta s as the area for the lower surface. This is the unit vector in upward direction. This is the unit vector in downward direction. So let us find the boundary conditions. So applying Gauss law for B, that is delta dot B equal to zero. Or in other form, the integration of B dot dS is equal to zero. So let us write the normal components. Then we are driving for normal components. So we will write B L one. The direction will be A L unit vector, and the area is delta S. So B L one unit vector A L one into delta S for the upper coordinate. And for the lower coordinate, we have B n two a n two delta s. And in normal direction, that will be zero, right? So as delta s cannot be equal to zero, it is the area of the circular surfaces. Therefore, we will get B n one a n one minus B n two a n two will be equal to zero. Or in another form, for magnitude, we will get B n one minus B n two will be equal to zero. Or B n one equal to B n two. So we can say that the normal components of B are equal or continuous. So writing in terms of H, we will get we know that B is equal to mu H. So B by n one equal to mu one H n one. B n two will be equal to mu two H n two. Then we will get mu one not equal to mu two because the probabilities are different for the two media. Therefore we can write H n one is not equal to H n two. So we can write and we can say that the normal components of B is are continuous, but the normal components of H are discontinuous. No. So now we will try for transverse components. For transverse components, we have taken a current sheet of linear current density K. From Ampere's law, we have integration of H dot d L is equal to I, and which can be written as K dot. K dot multiplied by delta L, where K is the linear current density and delta L is the length. For the closed path A B C D A, A B C D A, we can write H T one tangential component and the length will be delta L. So H T one delta L. For the lower component, we have in a positive direction, so we will get H T one T two delta L minus. So we will get H T one minus H T two common. Delta L is equal to k delta L. So as we can say delta L is not equal to zero, or delta L can be cancelled out. Delta L delta L cancel out, and we will get h t one minus h t two is equal to k. So we can say that the tangential component of h is discontinuous if current density is there or current is there. In terms of b, we can write h is equal to b upon mu. So we will write b t one upon mu one. Minus b t two upon mu two is equal to k. Thus, we can say the tangential components of B and H both are discontinuous if current is there. So we have tried the boundary conditions for magnetic field and magnetic field intensity, that is the magnetic flux and magnetic field intensity. We have tried for normal components of B and H. We have tried for tangential components of B and H. Now we will take one example for the refraction. Let us consider a ray incident from medium one and refracted to medium two. Theta one is the angle of incidence. Theta two is the angle of refraction. So we can write this is the tangential component of H one. This is the normal component of H one. This is the tangential component of H two. And this is the normal component of H two. So we can write from our boundary conditions that H T one minus H Equal to k, but as current is not present, so we will get h t one minus h t two is equal to zero. 
x t1 minus x t2 is equal to 0. So, what is the x t2 from figure? We can say x t1 is equal to h1 sin theta 1 and x t2 is equal to h2 sin theta 2. Right? Is equal to 0. So, from this equation we can get h1 sin theta 1 is equal to h2 sin theta 2. Let this be equation number 1. Also, from the boundary condition of B, normal component, Bn1 is equal to Bn2. So, we have Bn1 is equal to Bn2 and we can write in terms of H as mu1 Hn1 is equal to mu2 Hn2. What is Hn1 and Hn2 from figure? Hn1 is the H1 cos theta1. H2, Hn2 is equal to H2 cos theta2. So, we will write mu1 H1 cos theta1 is equal to mu2 H2 cos theta2. Equation number 2. Now, dividing equation number 1 with equation number 2, we can get H1 will cancel out, H2 will cancel out, we will get tan theta 1 mu 1, mu 1 tan theta 1 and this we will get um, sin theta divided by this one, tan theta 2 upon mu 2, we will get tan theta 1 upon mu 1 equal to tan theta 2 upon mu 2. By cross multiplication we will get tan theta 1 upon tan theta 2 equal to mu 1 upon mu 2 or we can get mu 2 tan theta 1 is equal to mu 1 tan theta 2 right so this is the law of refraction in case of magnetic field thank you